Hi, my name is Dan Garfield, and I am the Chief Technology Evangelist for CodeFresh. I'm going to give you a quick demo of our brand new live CI CD debugging feature. We just launched this at KubeCon. You can see I've got this, uh, well, it's sort of a scratch pipeline. Um, I just overrode this pipeline with a YAML that a friend sent me to, to take a look at. They wanted to know what's going on. Now, I could uh, look at the the um, the logs here, and, and in this case, I actually know what's been done wrong, but I want to double check it and work through the problem in debug mode. So what I'm going to go do is I'm actually going to restart this pipeline uh, from the beginning using debug mode. And uh, this is going to allow me to add breakpoints, just like I would in an IDE. And you can see here that I've added a breakpoint for after my clone has completed. And I'm going to actually add a breakpoint to uh, before this container executes. And I'm actually going to do an override, which will allow me to drop into the step, uh, essentially into the container. I think one of the reasons this is so impressive to me is that if you understand CodeFresh pipelines, every one of these steps is its own container. So I actually can move in and out of step, in and out of containers in order to examine my workspace and commands uh, and really figure out what's going on and what will work. So here I can now start exploring the CodeFresh volume. Of course, this is attached to the entire pipeline. Every step, every container has access to this uh, volume. And I can also do things like install things. I could uh, I can run uh, basically any command I want, depending on my plan level. Um, and I could, uh, let's say, uh, see if there's any extra variables that have been set. No special extra variables, just the normal code fresh ones will be available. So like CF branch, um, CF revision. So if I spell it right. Um, so I can see what I've checked out, or I could uh, I could even just drop into my repo here and check the git status. Everything looks fine here, so I'm just going to go ahead and continue on. Uh, and this will now uh, let the pipeline move on. It's going to pick up on my next breakpoint, which is during this parallel step where I have two, uh, two essentially two builds happening simultaneously. Um, and this will drop me in before and during. So uh, now it's it's kicking up before, and this container, this step, if we look at the YAML, uh, we can actually see this is running a Java image and then some commands against it. I'm not sure exactly what, uh, what my friend's trying to do here, so I'm gonna go take a look at it, but um, you'll notice that since we're executing before, that things like Java, it's not found because it's not, uh, we're actually not in the container. Also, I have the JFrog CLI in this image, it's not there. Um, so it's essentially the same spot I was in right after that clone. So I'm going to go ahead and continue into the override. Now this will actually uh, spin up the container um, just as it normally would in the pipeline. And it will uh, put me back into an interactive shell. Okay, so now I'm in the container. And I can actually run things like Java and the JFrog CLI, which, as you saw earlier, weren't available. Uh, and I could actually go about running this command that they uh, that they that was given brief here. In this case, um, what was this config? Now I actually know why this is broken. Uh, it's broken because we're trying to substitute variables the wrong way. Uh, but beyond that, just because I just set up this uh, pipeline. Uh, I actually won't have this variable anyway. So I could set it um, interactively here and start playing around with it. Uh, Dan's server. Yeah, that's great. And then I can you know, go about my business and try this out. So uh, as you can see, this is a really powerful way, not just to debug a pipeline, but also to build a pipeline because you can actually try these commands out interactively as you go along rather than you know, when I'm building a pipeline, usually it's uh, it's code, save, push, uh, execute, wait for a while for the for the pipeline to actually run, and then and then I get into it and figure out what's going on. In this case, I can essentially build the pipeline interactively, explore the variables and the state interactively, uh, set variables to retry things, and make sure that everything's going to work exactly the way I want it to. So. I was able to basically track down this specific issue very quickly um, and identify what would fix it very quickly because I had debug mode on. So this is uh, 
only exists in CodeFresh. There's no other platform in the world that offers a way to set breakpoints in a CI CD pipeline. Now, big questions that people are going to have watching this is they're going to say, well, this is great, but is it secure? And actually, this is a critical point. Uh, this whole system is subject to role-based access controls. So I can lock down who can debug. And I can also set lockdowns on like, uh, only these people can debug these pipelines. Um, and then as of this recording, I, I don't know if it's been deployed yet, but we also have the ability to essentially uh, set resources um, as off limits. So for example, let's say I've got my production Kubernetes cluster and I don't want anyone to be able to access that cluster from debug mode. I could actually say this resource not available based on those role-based access controls during debugging mode. And then if somebody tries to um, connect to that cluster or deploy to that cluster, it just won't be available. Uh, so you can actually set rules around uh, resources and I think very soon secrets as well. So uh, great feature coming out of CodeFresh. Stay tuned for more. Uh, we've got lots more coming and uh, yeah, this is, <laughs> this is, this is darn near magic to me. So uh, there you go. Thanks.